All right, we should be recording now. Hello, everyone. Uh, today is January 10th, and that's the official community meeting for uh, Project Harbor. My name is Oren Vasilov, and I'm the community lead for the project. Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, welcome back on our community calls. Um, I'm going to paste once again the the link to our community meetings into the chat. So please add your topics and add yourself. That would be super, super cool. Um, with that, I'm going to share that window that I have. Right. Um, so if you want to have something to discuss today, uh, please add your topics. As Lucas already <laughs> mentioned, we don't have a concurrent editing for this thing, and that's one of my topics for today. But uh, first, before we jump to discussion topics, uh, Jolene, do you want to do the honors to do the updates for um, 2.11? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Oni. Yeah, in the past uh, about uh, a few weeks, I think uh, the uh, maintainer team in Beijing have some initial discussion around the 2011 planning. And uh, we actually uh, work out a draft uh, plan for this release. Uh, we, uh, I mean, the Beijing maintainer team may uh, Propose the S bomb uh, integration uh, into the harbor in the 2011, uh, uh, which is uh, in the 2010 release. We have completed some investigation and also we have uh, defined the uh, S bomb spec uh, from harbor side. So, with that, uh, I think we are ready to do, do more S bomb related integration into Hubble task in the next, in the next release. So this is a major thing uh, the Beijing maintainer team planned to do uh, in 2011. Also, uh, we have uh, discussed a draft uh, release schedule for this release. So here is a uh, proposed milestone uh, for this release. So uh, like previous uh, a few releases, we have Five a uh, milestone. The first one is the each freeze milestone, which means uh, after that date, uh, we may not uh, plan to add more uh, features or changes uh, in this release. So, but before that date, we can continue discuss uh, to uh, move move uh, issue in or out in this planning uh, in this uh, release. So also we labeled. Uh, some candidate issue with uh, 2011. So I think uh, the community can also take a look at that uh, if, mm, to give some comments. And uh, if you uh, also have some issues, uh, once the, one of the Hubble community, uh, I mean, from the Hubble community, want the, uh, to have this in the 2011, release, you can also suggest to label that so we can discuss uh, based on that and finalize all the 2011 uh, issue list uh, before the feature freeze milestone. So that's the major uh, information from my side uh, for the 2011 update. Mm -hmm. Great. I uh, did a quick update while you were speaking and I pasted in the uh, community discussion board for the 2.11 release. If you, Olin, if you just refresh the community meeting, yeah. if you refresh, there is a new entry, community proposal. Uh, it's the first entry in uh, yeah, this one, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is the, the community discussion board and I'll I'll add there our timelines. Um, so we can uh... yeah so that's 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 a idea connection discussion topic for 2011 right.
Good. Vadim, do you want to add something else? Uh, no, or... that's it. Okay. That, that's the standard like discussion as we had for 2.9 and 2.10 and Exactly, exactly. Right, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I'm updating it now and uh, hit refresh. Mm -hmm. Now. Yeah, okay. Okay, great. Thank you, Wendy. Hmm. So practically, we should have something rather solid for, for KubeCon to share on the maintenance track as if we keep the date of March of 8th. Yeah. Uh, okay. At least what we plan to, to have in the RC1 and 2. Okay, cool. Anyone else wants to add something for, for that release in specific? Mm. Nope. No, maybe we should talk about the, the, the future release or the future uh, uh, bit of a direction of, of Harbor. We had some interesting discussions in during the KubeCon and mm. maybe we can kind of uh, continue with that but uh yeah uh do you mean anything in particular right now or well i was thinking about two areas where we um uh, kind of a more general areas of harbor one would be the uh, something something that was proposed already in the past and it was about um kind of a supporting uh, different oci types right kind of a uh, first class support for OCIs. There have been a, some proposals uh, in in that uh, for previous releases. And it means that uh, depending on the OCI type, we display it uh, with with the proper type in a in a separate tab. Uh, we had this already in the past at the discussion, and I would bring I would like to bring this up in yeah as a topic again because I think it's will get more and more important to have, uh, as we have more and more OCI types, not just containers, it will be more and more important to distinguish between those types and clearly see them. Um, we had this already in the, uh, in the two, I think it was proposed in two, two and nine or something. Uh, yes, this one, I can, let me just share this one. Yeah, uh, which one? You send it somewhere or? Yeah, I'm sending it to you. Just, uh, just uh, keep keep on sharing. I'll send this to you. This one. It's in the chat. But if you scroll down, yes, exactly this one. Um, so the idea was just to, you know, have an option to display different OCI types in their own um, let's say this was an example in their own tab, something that is easy to distinguish between if it's an OCI container or if it's an OCI chart or if it's an OCI uh, WASM artifact or whatever, and that the, the user or the project admin or the, the system admin can configure the view what types he would like to see in tabs, for example. And then um, we could display this information accordingly in, in, in Harbor. And I think from the technology perspective, it's not much kind of a change there because it's more of a visual representation of the results. But it would help the user to distinguish between um, different yeah, different OCI types. Because what I see now, what, how people are using that in Harbor is that they uh, misuse or abuse the, um, uh, the multi-level naming of artifacts so they have a project and then inside the project they have a level which is called uh, charts and a level which is called wasm and level which is called images and they uh, kind of uh, segregate images or uh, yeah, separate images or con artifacts uh, like like this right so because yeah they need to have a way to easily see different artifacts that, that they have and we do support this of course i mean there is a possibility that you have a drop down and you can select the artifact type that you would like to see.
but there is no option to have it more um, as a first class citizen, I would say, in, in Harbor. And I think this is something that we might be, uh, yeah, look into 212 or something uh, to implement this, this type of functionality. So this um, no, this might uh, have a proposal for that, um, and if we can, you know, ship something like this into twelve. It's, uh, it's possible that we can just create a proposal for this. Actually, uh, I don't have any uh, uh, strong opinion on this or not. I mean, that so should we continue? adding uh, more and more columns for those type of artifacts like uh, if we have the the fifth fifth one or sixth one or or 71 uh so currently you just mark four so we sh probably need we'll have five six seven so that means we should continue adding the columns for this table or, or, or tabs. Mm -hmm. So from the uh, UI perspective, it's not the best best practice, right? So we probably need to combine this with I mean, one column and the search by uh, a filter, yeah, um, I, rather I, than uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We need to brainstorm a few a few options. There was just one possible option that I came up quickly. And but there are probably more options how we can do it in a way that is more uh, user friendly. Uh, yes, so so I think we we, we could uh, uh, draft a proposal or uh, a issue and send out to the community to hear feedback from user side. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think it's totally a, a UI work, right? Um. Mm -hmm. But in general, it's not uncommon to be able to modify the view on top. I'm not sure if our interface allows that, but like every file browser oh. these days can do that. Like you can say, I want to see size and name only and not rest too. Mm. Yeah, so one option would be to have uh, kind of one tab and then in the tab, uh, you have a kind of more powerful filter than what we currently have. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of a, because you don't want to search by, by a type. You maybe just want to see everything of a type, right? So one option would be like this, having another filter functionality. And the other option might be that you can configure, right? You can say, okay, in my project, let's say in this project, I would like to have two tabs only. And the tabs should be image, of course, that's default. And the second one should be Helm charts. And in another project, I want to have WASM, and uh, other artifact types in, as a tab, right? And I think this can be configure, configurable because um, you know the type that you would like to have uh, as a tab. And this can be a configuration option, right? And then, because as as uh, as mentioned, it's unlikely that we will support like 20 tabs or something, yeah? because this will uh, be out, uh, you know, go out of hand, but it may be useful if, people can define it themselves what they want to see in the tab, right? So, and if we can provide them, them this functionality, um, this will also prevent have, having too much tabs. And by default, we would just be shipping with one tab, right? And there's just some, some options that I'm currently bit of brainstorming already now, but um, yeah. Yeah, so this uh, this is yep. something that I would like to bring up in in the maybe for the for the next release and make it make a proposal to that. Um, so okay. do you have a, a formal proposal into the community repository for this one or just yeah? yeah. Okay, yeah, we can we can make a formal proposal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Anything else? Do you want to discuss on this one or? No, I'm done with this topic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which kind of 
segues me to lead me to my my first of my discussion topics. Um, the issue that we don't have a actual product owner or product manager, or project manager, however you want to name it, this uh, in that particular context that we have right now for the open source project. And uh, the thing is, we don't have that kind of person in that kind of role for almost two years. So the the whole um, planning and the issue triaging and, and requirement triaging and you name it is either not done properly or it's done by me, you, Jolene, whoever. <laughs> um, and that's that's an issue uh, from open source point of view. Uh, so we were discussing that with, with you, Vadim, in the past and with you, Jolene, in different contexts and different meetings that we should address that and maybe wow, my proposal is to actually address that to the to the community. So to search for help for the for the project in in terms of um, like a project lead or something. So someone who can help us out do the proper planning and proper coordination between all the parties and all the organizations and the required effort for all the tasks that we think we can do. Um, which can lead to better roadmap or having a roadmap in general, as we don't have a life. We don't have a roadmap right now. We we have some planning for the next release and that's it. Uh, we, we don't have a roadmap for the next few releases. So um, my proposal is to open up such a role into the community field and to see if someone wants to get in and, and do that for us. Um, I know that would be a conflict a little bit with the viewer slash broadcom point of view. Uh, but it was it was obvious that, that that doesn't work for the last two years. <laughs> so I I think we can we can try to find a middle ground between project and product requirements from broadcom side. Jolene, you wanna say something? Yeah. Uh, I think in the past uh, at least one year we do not have a uh, let's say a product manager role to help our community to identify the requirement and define some uh, maybe one year or my uh, for this project. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the so uh, many of our I mean our maintainer like. Uh, Vadim or Yang or someone else uh, from the maintenance team to uh, take more responsibility for that. And uh, but uh, uh, personally, I think uh, uh, I'm not sure uh, whether we need to define or such a low role officially uh, for Project Harbor. Because we in uh, from the governance uh, definition uh, from the Harbor project, we actually have the maintainer role, contributor role, uh, uh, in the past uh, several years, right? So I think maybe maintainer can take this role. Uh, I mean, to uh, actually to do related task to. I mean, uh, from the uh, from the product uh, manager manager perspective, right? So, I think maybe the maintenance role is, is enough to cover this part. We may we may, uh, but we can have uh, community contributors uh, who are interested interested in this part. And help the Harbor community uh, from that part. Uh, like uh, previously, we have some PM from VMware said to take some of the uh, responsibility for that, but they actually do not have a maintainer roles. And I think it is it it not a must to be a maintainer to do that. Uh, but I think if we have a contributor, community or from other uh, company can 
and help on this part that would be helpful for the project cover, right? And I heard from recently, I heard from the uh, Broadcom, uh, they may allocate another. Jolene, you're breaking up. Maybe in the next uh, a few weeks or months, we will hear the some new new information from that part. So hopefully we can get something, get some more from the company to help on this part. But again, it is also welcome uh, anyone else from community can help on that part. We can work together and discuss together to find the uh, direction in the next like, one or one half years for the project hub. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I think why we should have some coordination in that regard is basically because we don't uh, currently in the project, if you take a look at the, the roadmap or the the project, ro the project uh, the schedule, right? So the roadmap, the schedule. So this information is um, is not updated. So it's it looks a bit like it is, well, of not maintained anymore, right? So if you take a look at the roadmap, for example. Uh, yeah, I, you click yeah it is not updated in the maybe for year for one year at least i think so if you if you open up the roadmap or click on the roadmap md file uh i think yeah it's here roadmap and there it is you see it's like uh, two years ago and then it's referring to another one and this roadmap is uh yeah kind of uh also up that doesn't wasn't up there yeah, five yeah, months we, ago so yeah, we, um it was just typo so and then we have the the projects like the, the 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 schedule what we are planning to do right so what is the what is the plan for the next release and for the release after i think this will also be um, helpful towards the community to um to make decision what we are at and what we are planning to do right so i think if you if you click on the the projects the project overview uh, like I called it the project schedule uh, yeah exactly this one on the harbor level um, this, the, yeah, uh, yeah, in the... yeah, yeah this is also kind of a not uh, yeah and I think no, it, no, no. it I should think be kind didn't... of a head of transparency I'm not uh, saying that someone has to uh, need to do it but if nobody does it, then we need to allocate someone who can do it, right? Yeah, only uh, please go ahead with the project classic classes classic. classic. We uh, use that oh, one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We use yeah, we use the border tracking uh each release uh I mean issues under the schedules. Not this one. Uh, go to the project class. Yeah. Open the project. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think we have uh done something around this part. Maybe we have some. Uh, we we have something can be improved at this part. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know. For me, it sounds like at least three of us we agree that we need improvement on this one, and we need help. And community, it's a good, good place to ask for that help. If yeah. I can sum up, is that true for everyone? Yeah, I think because this is the calendar status, so we use this to checking each release schedule. Or major anchor features in the in the particular release. Uh, if we think this is not good enough, maybe we we need to find out which part we can to do to improve it. Right? That's mm -hmm. that's something. Uh, we we just discussed also. And, and actually, uh, we we will uh, pick up some item from the back off with high priority to to into the next uh, release. 
So that's we what we are doing right now. So, um, so as for the uh project manager, um, uh, I think I don't think uh, uh someone from the community who is not familiar with Harbor can help us to set up the roadmap. As I don't think anyone is more familiar with Harbor than us. So I think uh, everyone from the maintainer group could be the PM. That and we can discuss and uh, voting and decide what what to do next. So rather than to have a new role in a community, so I would like to uh, initiate some discussion within the maintainer group uh, regarding to the future of Harbor, like the 3.0, what we would like to do. I have some job ideas, uh, but, but I didn't have a chance to discuss the ideas with you. Uh, um, so like uh, Wadim and me, we can host some meetings within the Manila group to to discuss some items from community, like the, the feature requires. And, and, and maybe someone from the Manila group can and do some uh, competitor investigation and have some information to share within the group and uh, to share some uh, 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 new features that they have, but we don't. So uh, um, this is w what we're going to do. But uh, but we may not need a concrete person who is responsible for the uh, uh, project management. Everyone could be. Mm -hmm. So this is my point. Yeah. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think Ian's point is sounds reasonable, right? I think the maintainer is a team who know Harbor very well than, than, than else, right? So they can discuss around the uh, roadmap and to see what is the important uh, the community are looking for. And the, so around that part, I think the maintainer group can decide what, we, what, what should you do in the next uh, I mean, one year or one half year, right? So mm. I think it's it... yeah, definitely. But the 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 role of the project manager is not to define the roadmap; it's exactly. uh, coordinating. It's coordinating, making sure that we have a project board, that the project board is up to date, that uh, we know where people can find the roadmap, uh, where people can see, ah, okay, is this bug fix? Planned for the next release or for the release after, you know, like all those things. This is nothing to do with the the the, the project uh, guidance and project uh, know, direction. It has more to do with the organizational part. It's a kind of a uh, a secretary role that coordinates and and makes sure everything is transparent and organized. Well, this is this is the, the something what the project manager does, right? So it's managing. It's not leading and the, of course the maintainer's team is the one who decides what to do next and what to, to approach it's the project manager's objective is to make it transparent what's going to happen and he's not deciding what, what's going to happen yeah we're mixing up a little bit project yeah. manager and project owner or product manager or yeah. product owner um, exactly. but i'm talking purely about project management in terms of not 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 especially knowing the project because let's be honest we can let's say we wait for broadcom or some other company to assign someone uh and get paid for this one they'll know nothing about the project anyway regardless of the company right um but mm -hmm. if we have such a role which is like dedicated role not in a maintainer otherwise it would mean someone from maintainers team needs to spare some time doing all that all that work like um getting all the requirements getting all the all the inputs from all the maintainers like is it visible in that in that cycle is it not how much time it will take can we priority can we put priority on it for that release or we can give it to the next release and that can build like the roadmap and that's an effort which is primarily done by the project managers regardless of the project so every open source project has some some kind of role like this for example in the kubernetes uh community 
the release manager is doing a lot of this stuff um and that works for them but yeah we cannot compare to the kubernetes project of course but we can mm -hmm. adopt some some good practices right mm -hmm. um so and for me on the other side as a community person i think if we open up such an opportunity for the community we can attract some other let's call them players <laughs> into the field like some other organization that is interested into the into the project but cannot like spare time uh, in their maintainers or developers they can they can give us some someone who is experienced as project manager which will be beneficial for everyone the community and the project itself so yeah and i see more benefits if it's a it's a let's call it external and by external i mean external to the maintainers team mm -hmm. uh, regardless of the company right um so if we have an external project manager, non a maintainer of Project Harbor, I think it will make it will make everybody's life a little bit easier because otherwise someone else like you, Jan, or me or Vadim or someone else from the team can spare time doing this stuff. And that's not ideal in uh, I think. That's mm -hmm. that's my opinion. Yeah. yeah. We can give it a try if if uh it's like not set in stone <laughs> that we should like always have that from community or should have like a dedicated person. But if someone wants to help us out with this stuff, I think we are we're in good position as we have graduated project. And I think there'll be some nice people uh, ready to help us out with this stuff in their spare time. So I, I'm, I feel like it is going to be beneficial for the project uh, if we ask the community to this to this stuff. But yeah, we should all decide on this one. Mm -hmm. I agree. But, but I still as uh, believe that we could start uh, uh, take turns and um, doing this part from maintainer group, like uh, we can. Uh, uh, choose me or uh, Vadim as the first up uh, program manager uh, from 2.11 uh, and, and doing a lot of this stuff like uh, organize the release uh, project requirements and, and so yeah that's my opinion we can start uh, take turns you know, uh, what are the benefits you see if we elect someone from the maintainers team to do that stuff instead of having someone external to the maintainers team, like can you can you uh, balance out like pros and cons in both cases? So, uh, so, so you that... actually uh, the yeah yeah yeah. No, okay, go, go ahead. ahead. I was going to give you an example like pros for external is like there'll be a dedicated person who is not a maintainer. So that means the maintainer's team will be mm -hmm. uh, less involved in this stuff. So they will be have, having more time for actual technical work. The cons on the other side is if you have external, he needs or she needs to get like acquainted with the project, acquainted with the, with the team and ramp up with the knowledge around the project and who is who and what are the priorities of the project. So if we can balance this out like pros and cons for both scenarios, we can make it an easy decision, I think. So uh, my question to you, Jan, is uh, if you if you have something in mind that is like uh, it would be more productive or less productive in case we elect someone from from the external. But, but I I think that eventually the the we need to discuss what to do next. Uh, uh within the maintainer, like uh, someone from community help us to uh, organize the 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 project and pick up some items from community and uh, learn some requirements from users and then pick up some and discuss with them, they discuss them with us and then the the maintainer group will uh, discuss vote and decide do it or not. So so I mean that eventually we will make the decision, right? I yes. mean the maintainer will make the decision. Oh, the, 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 yeah, the project manager just, uh, yeah, yeah. The project manager just uh, will help us to 
organize this stuff. I I exactly. impressed the uh, yeah said that the the this is just a progress a problem, not a a a um. Uh, how to say that? Not a, a, a critical problem. I mean, um, so I still believe that we can uh, start from a maintainer, pick up uh, just to choose one person at the PM virtually, and then let him to organize all the things. And yeah, this is my opinion. Mm -hmm. I, do you think it to? That's a question for everyone. Uh, uh, I think it, it makes sense if we like open up that for general discussion within the maintainers team. Yep. Yeah, I think I uh, my suggestion. That. Yeah, actually, I was not an official maintainer, but I would suggest um, initialize this discussion in the maintainer uh, Slack group, uh, Slack channel, and to hear hear the opinion or comments from others maintainers who was not here who are not here today so uh so can continue to discuss yeah in the in the maintainer slack channel i think not not so, sure if the maintainer slack channel is the best option out there because i'm asking question is like asking question to the void <laughs> yeah but are i think uh, if there's some that, new or... i think hmm? maybe there's some new because this is uh, something uh new right I and mean, not like uh, a issue or pr or something like that i think this is a process or some new role definition we propose uh today so i All think right. the maintainer has the responsibility to take care of that part okay i'm gonna address that on the slack channel and the mailing list for maintainers so we can mm -hmm. approach everyone um all right so we can discuss that further more uh my, my next topic uh if yeah but otherwise uh, we can continue that discussion like an hour long which is not uh yeah. optimal for the, for the <laughs> overall meeting so uh my next proposal is to migrate that community meeting notes uh to hack and d um few reasons for that uh, concurrent editing <laughs> and yeah it's in general a little bit easier to navigate and use the hackmd at least uh in my opinion so if i can get your thoughts on this one i can open issue uh for like a general discussion with the others for me it's okay i have no strong opinions if 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 it will work better for us this way I'm I'm for we can do that. Yeah, so who I mean so we 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 have a official account for Hubble to host those HackMD file. I mean what, what do you mean? Do we do we do we need a official Hubble account? In the HackMD? HackMD? Yeah. Uh, we can create a team in HackMD, Harbor, and we can add everyone in that team who wants to be like owner of the file, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah, okay. that is that a workable. I think that should be fine because some other open source software use HackMD, which is corrupted, uh, can yeah. can turn to edit this. <laughs> it, it, yeah. it is something uh, we help out. I think. Yeah, my actual problem with that with that file is if I hit edit now, someone can save before mm -hmm. me and all my changes are gone. <laughs> right. And that's like okay. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's that so kind we, of form okay. is not it's not designed to serve our needs, right? Uh yep. Okay, I think I think we can yeah, I'm do good that. for this. Okay. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna open up an issue to this one. And the... mm -hmm. All right, uh, I'm out of topics. Uh, Lucas, the Lucas, your next one. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks for having me. So I I was in a call already a few weeks ago where I 
updated the Go client and then I did it again. And then I uh, got some comments in the pull request, why is it not automated? So last, uh, last month I took some time and created a workflow um, here in the files change, you can see it. So I created a um, GitHub workflow, which can automatically um, prepare this uh, repository for a new release. So whenever there's a new Harbor release, you can trigger this workflow and it will then create a pull request. You can manually review it. And then once you merge it, it will create the tag. I was able to test it in a fork I created. Uh, it's always a little bit tricky when it comes to GitHub Actions um, mm. to develop them, but yeah. That's a, that's a great solution. So how how is the, the, the release triggered then? So can you elaborate? So when, when we have, a, for example, a new release, is the, yeah. the workflow triggered manually or automatically from the tag? It's, if you go back to the conversations, that's um, just for me to remember what I wrote. <laughs> yeah. I just consider this. Uh, right now, it's triggered manually. Okay. Um, we can consider integrating this workflow in another workflow. So you have workflows, and we can consider triggering this workflow from within the release workflow in the hardware itself. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah. So when, when you do the release of Harbor, we can automatically do the release of the client. Okay. But I mean, for now, the, the manual uh, flow is okay. You know, for me, it's, it's good to, to start it this way. And then we can see how to uh, yeah continue from there. And it wasn't just the comment right now below where I um, wrote down how it could work. Yeah. Yeah, hit, hit this one, yes. This would be the, the published release workflow of GitHub. And this then some, somewhere here, we would need to trigger the, the workflow of uh, the, the client. Exactly. All right, that's good. So, mm -hmm. so do we have uh, a tag for the Go client? Or are we just mm -hmm. align with the upstream? Mm -hmm. I mean the the the, the version or the tag of Go client, or are we just okay, use um, the oh, oh, oh. okay it is own version. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, oh. so we have what I implemented is uh, two workflows. The one workflow will create mm -hmm. a pull request, and then when, once you merge the pull request, we have another workflow, and this one tags yeah. it. This one will create a tag and a release. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Got it. Thank you. So I okay. think we, we could yeah maintain a separate release cycle for the Go client. I think uh, to, it's, to be it's, started, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, mm -hmm. It's very similar with the ham chart. The ham chart has its own uh, attack and version, but uh, aligned with the upstream harbor core. Yeah. So we can share the same experience. Okay, there are there are some open PRs now, from, mostly from Lucas, and I would like to take yeah. the time to accept yeah, those. Yeah. And and uh, yeah, I'm sorry for the uh, I forgot about the review. This sorry. Uh, I, I, Wadim, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Would you mind to forward this PR into the Harbor Maintainer? Uh, Slack, so then we can uh, start to review this. Yeah, that's quite mm -hmm. helpful for us. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Lucas. Awesome. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. I appreciate You're that. Welcome. Um, I have another topic that uh, is related to Lucas, and this is about uh, the new. There is now end of month. There is again the possibility to have uh, a, a Linux Foundation. A mentorship program and we were thinking about uh, continuing the work on the harbor cli right and because the harbor cli which started last year i think it would make sense to continue with that uh, cli and the cli is dependent on the go client 
right? And so we've been thinking that if we, um, you know, assign a main main mentee for the Harbor CLI, it would also make sense to assign a mentee for the Go client. And this is a bit more question to Lucas if he would like to uh, help out and uh, yeah, with with the mentee mentorship on the Go client. Um, like like this because he's the one who is kind of a uh, yeah maintaining or supporting the client or uh, did a lot of work and i think in the if the go client also if the cli needs to be extended uh, this will have some impact on the go client and um if this is more of a question to lucas if he would be willing to yeah. let's say support that uh, mentorship and it's not much Time, it's maybe like one, two hours a week um, where you would need to you know, answer questions or things like this. Right? Ah, okay. So can you elaborate a little bit more on the role then? So the, the LFX program, it's like Linux Foundation uh, Mentorship and Mentee Program, allows uh, mentees, mostly students in the CS um, area, who are finished or finishing their uh, studies uh, to join this program and contribute to open source projects, right? And we would like to uh, uh, announce such a mentorship program for Harbor and people can then sign up for this mentorship program and, you know, um, work on the Go, uh, Go client, right? Extending the mm -hmm. Go client. Um, and you would be then the person they can ask if something is unclear or if they, if yeah, something else unclear. And you will be also maybe the person who can uh, set requirements and say like, okay, what functionality can we put into the Go client that a mentee mm -hmm. can implement? In its duration is three months, so that the mentee can implement in three months. What what could could be done in three months? Which functionality is missing in the Go client? that the mentee can implement, but mostly it's a, in the perspective of the Harbor CLI. So uh, the mentee on the Harbor and the mentee on the Go client will collaborate and work together and uh, you know, extend the functionality. Um, I, I think, thanks thanks for asking. I could consider this. Uh, let's maybe um, continue discussion uh, after the call in, in, uh, in chat, but I'm, um, I think I can do this if it's not too much work because like I'm already one. I pessimistically I would say it's like one or two hours per week. Okay. Optimistically it's less, right? So uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. So afterwards, thank you. Okay, thank you. And regarding this topic that we currently meant, so. Um, we had a discussion already, as mentioned, we would like to have a mentorship program uh, start again. And maybe uh, Olin can share the, the documentation that we have uh, written already regarding that. And it's basically uh, continue the work on the Harbor CLI and uh, you know having uh, the Harbor CLI uh, working. I mean, we have already Harbor CLI, but extending the Harbor CLI with more functionality. And we now transferred the project from, uh, from Akshat, from, Akshat. Uh, Akshat, yes, from yes. Akshat uh, to Harbor and marked it as, um, as an incubating project into Harbor CLI. So this is now an incubating project in our site. We don't have any commitment there and, um, uh, now the the mentee can work on that and add another fun add additional functionality there, and once it is um, good to go, we can you know uh, create a release out of it and uh, announce this that there is a functionality there. So this is what we plan to do on the mentorship program, and as I said, there is also a Harbor Go client SDK that probably needs to be ex extended alongside the Harbor CLI. And ideally we would like to have two mentees so that they can collaborate and work together you know, jointly, which is you know, 
two people is better than one and if they can collaborate and help each other out it's also less uh, less work uh, for us and uh, less um, uh, uh, gui guidance needed for us so this is the the currently what we're trying to uh, the, the rationale behind having two people really closely related um that's that's it on the topic um and there is another one there is a new new uh, new release of the or new code for chat museum oci so there is a, a user mark oh, no uh, not it's not users mark can you click the username i was confused who it was um it was stefan yes stefan made two proposals and he he was using the uh, chart museum to OCI and noticed that uh, not all OCI or charts were migrated because there is a limitation on uh, the API. Uh, when you call the API, if so, if you open the merge request, yes, the, the pull request you opened. So he he noticed that um, there is a pa pa uh, pagination going on, right? And so he made the first uh, PR and the first PR introduced uh, the pagination. Like you have a, a page, you can do page one from page two. And this is his second release uh, or second contribution, which basically makes the, the paging um, uh, intransparent. So because you don't, as a user, you're not, don't want to specify which page you want to migrate. And so that, because you probably want to migrate everything. So that means that you, he changed it to project so you can specify which project you want to migrate, a bit more specific, but if you don't specify it, it will migrate everything, right? So he made another extensions to that. Thanks for to Stefan for that. And we've been using this project for now and it's very helpful and then, yeah, a good tool and uh, yeah, so we have now the new functionality and, and fixed the problem with the uh, Chat Museum OCI migrator. Uh, yes, that's that's it from from my side on the announcements. Um, do we discuss the the CNCF uh, KubeCon part? Yeah, a uh, few things there. Uh, we filed up the maintainer's track, and now we can decide about five minutes lightning talk. And the, the this time there is no project meeting like we had before. And the what the uh, the other opportunities that we have are the the project update that will be streamed again on the keynote session. And give me a second. What was the other one? wrote into the channel and I forget. Uh, yeah. And there's a PR support, which at the kiosk, of course, um, the project uh, in the project pavilion and PR support, which I'm not sure if we can take advantage of, but that's, yeah, you to say. So if we, give me a sec, I'll open that, you see that. So those are all the benefits that we can have. The in-person kiosk, I think we can apply again for half a day kiosk if we have enough people to stuff it. Um, that thing is on the 19th of March, which I believe it's Monday, like a free kind of event uh, day. Give me a second to check. No, it's Tuesday, so it's, the, it's on the first day. Um, Maintainer's track and the contrib fest is something that I don't know. It's a long and very time consuming thing. So um we discussed it one or twice that maybe we cannot take uh participation in this one. What do you think? Hmm. Uh, oh, I don't think we, we need the country first. Yeah. The country first, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I, I always think, think that's going to be difficult to 
to spin up. Yeah, I don't think. Yep. Yes. 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 We only have three maintainers will join the the, the copy yep. card, right? Yeah. So, so we file for kiosk, the lightning talk, mm -hmm. maintainer track, and project update on keynote stage. All right. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Any I think any preferences about the kiosk in the morning or in in the afternoon? In the afternoon, I I, I think the more oh, is, 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 uh, yes, most of people will attend the keynotes in the morning, right? There, it's so, always um, after the keynotes, but the thing is, I my observation is people tend to go to sessions right after the keynotes. And yes. after lunch, and after lunch, they hang around the project pavilion and and showcase. Mm -hmm. So yes. if you want to speak with people, I think afternoons are more. Mm -hmm. Agree. Yeah, afternoon, then. Okay, afternoons then. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and regarding the lightning talk, the five ten minutes lightning talk, there is a, a is I read there is some limitations or no or some. No idea. That's something that actually is for first time. So we need to prepare a a short session for this, or or yep. Okay, to discuss uh, some specific features, or um, I think that yeah, will be a yeah. great opportunity to. To shine with some functionality like demo. No. Okay. Okay. Yes. No yes. Okay. About what we're gonna release and such and such. That's in the contribution in the maintenance track. But that that five to ten minutes lightning talks. I I think it's like a demo time to shine uh, in front of the audience what we can do with Haber and why they should try it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, so, we should do this. Yeah, I think we have to use all the opportunities that we think we can actually take and make it work. So that that shouldn't be a big deal anyway. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna submit all that today. Right. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, Ali. Yeah. Thank you. All right. We are one minute after the hour. Anyone else? Any last calls or uh, for topics? Nope. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Have Thank you, day. everyone. Thank you. Have a good evening Bye. and a good day. Two weeks. Yep. Bye. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Have a good Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Ciao.